Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how I would start going about converting this, um, let's say, three column layout with um, just Latin text in here to a design that I did in Photoshop of making a website look like this. So this is my Photoshop design and I'm going to show you how. First off, I'm going to start working on the header and then write the CSS code to make this work. Now the first thing that you need to do is you need to get, I'm going to need to tile this background piece on the top. So what I do is, first of all, in my layers here, you'll see that um, I can actually, I design this in a way so that there's like kind of a tiling pattern here that goes across of this blue and then there's like a glow here and a line and then a, a big purple and then a small purple line going across. So what I could do is I could actually take my marquee selection tool in Photoshop and I could just maybe make a short selection of this, right? And I want to just get a selection, let's say, of just that right there and copy that. Um, now when I do that I've got this all in layers. What I might need to do is, first of all, I might need to flatten my image. So I'm going to deselect Control D, and I'm going to say Layer, Flatten Image, right? And so I flatten my image image now into, let's say, one layer, right? Now I will just get my selection, and let's say there it is, right? And just copy right edit copy copy that and then file new right click OK right gives you a tiny little file and then you say edit paste right okay and there it is just that little slice right there and then you could say file save as or save for web and if you hit save for web you could save it as either a JPEG or a GIF right I save mine as a GIF and then you put it in a folder so let me show you the folder I put it in. So here's my folder for um, my CSS sample folder, right? I've got my little index pages and my CSS code in the CSS directory. And then I made a new directory called images. And in this directory, you'll see there's my slice. I've sliced it and saved it two ways. I've got header underscore bg dot gif, and I've got header underscore bg dot jpeg. And I could use either one. Now, which one is smaller? is my GIF. So this is the one, let's say, I'll try to use. And there it is. There's my little slice opened up in Picasa. Okay, so now I want to put that into my web page here. So what I'm going to do is I've got my final CSS that I wrote over here. And you'll see here's my header. And what I'll do is I'm just going to copy the background that I had done. Copy and I'll paste it into my new CSS and here it is paste that so instead of this background here I'm gonna have a new one and you'll see here that this says background uh, white but then I also give a URL for the background and I say look in and then in parentheses there's my parentheses right here I say look dot dot forward slash which means up one folder into the images folder look for header underscore bg dot gif and then space here repeat dash x will repeat that gif that little slice it'll tile it um, horizontally because it's repeating along the x-axis now um, now this CSS file right this is template 2 dot CSS so <laughs> when we look in our folder, right? Okay, CSS is in the CSS folder. There's template2.css. So when I give it the path, I need to tell it go up one folder, right? And then into the images folder. And so that's why the path says dot dot forward slash images. In other words, if you're going to find this image in a parent directory, then go into the images directory, and then you'll find the image, right? And so now I can hit File Save, and we can look to see if this is applied. And I hit File Save, and I hit Refresh, right? And you see the top change color, so you know that something worked, but 
we can't see it. It doesn't look correct. Well, I'm just going to test this out. It says this is my header. I'm going to put some more text in here to see if I can see more of that background image applied. So I go back here and I'm going to go to the index2.html and instead of just this is my header, right, maybe what I'll do is I'll drop this div tag down and I'll put in some lorem ipsum code. So copy and paste, right, drop that down a line and then put an end paragraph tag right file save and refresh my window and now you can see that actually that little slice that I did is tiling horizontally and it's working it's tiling horizontally I just needed some more spacing in here in this header div so I could see it right and so the text is doing that for me right now but I'm not going to keep the text I'm going to change that and I think I'll do that in the next video but you can see that that worked all that was was a change to my, in my header background property here and changed it and I told it find a URL for the background right and then repeat it along X okay and I'm not sure if I can get rid of this color here let's see if I can get rid of that color and just do it like that file save like I said I'm not an expert at CSS I'm just hacking around at this but hopefully it'll help see and that works too so I didn't really need that background color in there for this to work it wasn't hurting anything so I'll put it back okay anyway for some reason if you didn't find the image then maybe the color would take effect I don't know so anyway I'll finish this in the next video